Hey guys, it's Val Guy here. Um, so, in my last video about things in the Mistlands, um, I tested how well the black metal armor, all the padded greaves and everything, and the black armor weapon, well, I didn't really test weapons, but I should have, um, basically how all that stuff does in the Mistlands, specifically the armor. That is the one thing I was most concerned about. Um, if you would just spawn and instantly get your butt kicked. Well, today I was finally able to do some Mistlands playing on my own. And, well, I'll just, I'll spawn in what I was greeted with, okay? As soon as I arrived, alright? So, here we go. I do have God Mode and Ghost on, so nothing, nothing's gonna attack me yet. Spawn Seeker. Now, let's see. There are two of them. Oh, screwed that up. Let's try this again. Sorry, guys. Spawn Seeker. Two of them. Level three. There we go. Spawn Seeker. So this is what I was greeted with when I went to the Mistlands. Um, I'm going to show you how this went. Remove drops first. Then I'm going to turn off. Oh, I'm going to hit my shield. Because they're going to kill me instantly. So I'm black metal knife, black metal shield, uh, maxed out. Pretty sure that shield's maxed out. Um, yeah. Alright, so I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to run over here, give myself a little bit of time. I'm not going to let them kill me, but here we go. Alright, this dude sees me, blocking, and hit me for 112, 131. The regular Seeker was 1, 1 1.3. Those dudes just, they just plow ya, there's just nothing you can do. Look at that, I mean, it, this is unplayable, is what I'm going to use for this. Unplayable. I can't even. Yeah. Block in 118. 127. 69. Oh, kind of blocked. And I barely touched him for damage. Take out the porcupine, see how we do there. Better. Still junk. Alright, that hurt this dude. Alright, so that dude's dead. These two, it's just freaking. <laughs> you just instantly die, and this is all. This is all maxed out. I mean, look at and look at that. Look at how much damage my armor's taken. It is. You come across a two-star or one-star seeker, uh, run. Absolutely run. And then we're gonna do um, remove drops first. Then, I was told in the comments, um, and I should have the username up, and I don't, let me look real fast, see if, see if I can find it, um, should I have this ready, sorry guys, let's see here, Ten U R commented on the last video, and he told me that the Seeker soldiers are Seeker brutes. So thank you, Ten U R. Really appreciate that. So let's let's learn how to type. And let's spawn in a Seeker brute. Let's see how fair this is. Or soldier. All right, not bad. Not bad, look how far he takes you back. Alright, so this is doable, right? I mean, he's not really damaging us too much as long as we block. If we don't block, it gets a lot worse. But, this is doable. But, you know, this is where it gets not doable. The amount of damage it takes to kill this dude is insanity. Absolutely insanity. the stamina, get back up, blocked and parried him. 
And if you notice, his damage is gray. The damage I'm doing to him is gray. So let's try let's try a knife. It's still gray. It's still gray, alright. Let's try an axe. Oops, put our shield back. Gray. Alright. Let's try a bow. Well, that hit him. I don't know why I got yellow there. Yeah, there we go. Huh. Is it where I hit him? Is that possible? Does he have a weak point? Like, is his back weak or something? No? I don't know why I got yellow damage. In game, I never got yellow. It was always gray, no matter what weapon type I used. No matter the type, I don't know. I don't know how to kill these guys effectively, quickly. They don't have a weakness. And they, uh. They knock you across the room. Um. They're not immune. Frost. Fire. Sure, we'll try fire arrows. Uh, this isn't going to make a difference, but why not? Let's see how we do. Yeah, it's no change. So basically, they're tough. They're super tough to kill. There we go. He would have. I don't know if he would have killed me, but if I would have got ganged up on, he definitely would have killed me. Um, but those those seekers, man. Let's try. Let's spawn in a seeker. Let's go one. That's a one star. Yeah. Let's look at this dude. See me? Okay. Seven damage. Seventy-five. Seventy-two. So basically, you can block one attack. But after that, and same thing. How much damage we're not doing to him? Three hits, and it's grayed out. There's a hundred, that was nice, because that was the big hit and parried him. Maybe that's the trick. So there you go. I guess if you uh, press your mouse wheel and do that uppercut thing, you might have a chance. But if you've got... Let's just say you've got two of them. Can you even do that? Alright, come on. Yep, here I am. They're probably just going to kill you quick. Oh yeah, see? can't even get a hit in. I'd be dead by now. Missed him. I mean, look at that. That's just relentless. Alright. So let's pretend... I'm going to turn Ghost back on. Let's pretend you've got... I don't know. 22 Star Wolves with you? 23... See what happens. Alright. So the wolves are effective. At least 20 of them are. Let's try 10. Seeker. We'll go with. We'll, we'll keep that. And you know what? We'll do what I was greeted with. Two of them. Two three star. Or two two stars. These guys were not messing around. And we're going to do 20 wolves again. 20 level threes. Here we go. They one hit. Almost one hit those. Alright, so it looks like we definitely lost some wolves. They're. Most of them are almost dead, it looks like. Yeah, I noticed that too uh, the other game. When something's tamed, it turns green. So, top tip there. But we definitely lost some wolves. I mean, look at that pile of wolfness. Uh, remove drops. Should have done this first. Okay, so let's try. Let's go two, three again. Let's let's, say, let's try ten wolves. 
I don't think the wolves are going to do it. Here we go. It's like they see the wolves, we'll see them. Oh, he missed. Look at that. It looks like ten wolves are going to win. They are. But that was half of them. So five are dead, two are almost dead, three are almost dead, and two are not. So if you're going planes, you better take like, I don't know, a hundred wolves with you. Or planes. Uh, Mist lands, you better take a boatload of wolves with you uh, if you don't want to basically die in instantly. That's how I was, man. I, wore, I rolled up on one of those temples, and I saw those two seekers, and I was like, oh, I play with these... Uh, I messed with these, and there was three of them, and I saw there were two stars, and I was like, they can't be that much tougher. They were insane. They were insane, guys, so just be super careful getting to the Mistlands. Um, it it was crazy for me. Um, I hope you guys have better experiences. Like, it was... Mm, if you're by yourself, it is borderline unplayable if you just got black metal stuff on borderline unplayable so not to mention the mist was crazy as well um, you couldn't see anything like my first my first time going there um, the actually the very first time I landed was on this tiny little island and I didn't have a wisp yet and uh, <laughs> I just thought I was in the mistlands because you can't see I couldn't even see myself I didn't know what was happening I didn't know where I was I was just like jumping and hoping and then eventually I jumped way up, and uh, I got to, I don't know, I cleared the mist, apparently, and uh, I could kind of see. But it I realized I was just high and on this little tiny island. I was like, well, this is stupid. So, unfortunately, right now, as it appears right now, in my opinion, I think the mistlands need some, some tweaking. I think it's a little too foggy, misty, whatever you want to call it. Um... I think the enemies are exceptionally, exceptionally tough, and it's one thing like this game is a lot about choices, right? So if you come up on a on a group or a horde or something, a lot of times you can avoid them or you can run away from them. But in the Mistlands, it's very, very difficult because you can't see anything, so it really limits your choices. You know, the fight or flight. That's one of the nice things about this game. You can avoid stuff, and if you watch me. Um, in my newest series, which is getting you through the Bronze Age, I will avoid stuff. Like, I'll see a spawner, and I'm like, nope, walk around that. Because I know that's just going to get me into a fight that's going to overwhelm me that I won't be able to win that I'll end up running away from anyway. So I don't even waste my time with it. The Mistland severely limits that. Severely. Um, the other thing I'm not uh, a huge fan on, I've lost it. There's three things that I really didn't like. Oh. It's kind of the magic stuff. Oh, wait, wait. I really don't like that they, uh, shut up, phone. I really don't like that these Seekers don't have any weaknesses. That is, not only do they not have weaknesses, but they're immune to everything. It's like fighting Bone Mass, except Bone Mass even has a weakness. So, yeah, um, it is, the hordes are overwhelming. You can't see where you're going, so... As of right now, I'm not a huge fan of it. It just seems like a place to go to die. So there we go, guys. I hope you learned something. I hope your Miss Land's experiences have been a lot better than mine because I played for about an hour today and got nothing but frustrated. So hopefully you guys are doing better than, than I am at least. Uh, and if you have any tips for anybody, um, please put them down in the comments below. And as I learn more about the Miss Lands and spend more time in this game, I'm definitely going to pass the information along. Uh, right now, Mistland videos are taking priority over everything else I'm doing on the channel. And that's just because it's new, and I feel like we're all learning together. And if I learn something maybe you guys don't know, um, I can help you out and vice versa. So go ahead and leave your comments below. And if you find this uh, information helpful, please help the channel and subscribe. Thanks, everybody.